don't resist, flow. That's what I say now. Who knows what's going to happen later. Crazy mother... Hey Glow Beauties, I have a mega luxury beauty haul, haul, and one unboxing to do in front of the camera. Now this isn't the complete of all of it, there is more. So, we are going to get in. Now, just before we get in, if you haven't already, why not subscribe to join the Glow Fam? There's a whole lot of glittery goodness and happiness going on around here. And also hit the notification bell so that you will keep up with all my uploads. And I also do include the links to the products that I mentioned. They are affiliate links. They do support my channel. And also it makes it so much easier for your convenience to be able to research any of the products. You don't have to shop. But if you want to research them, it makes it a lot easier. But if you shop, you really are supporting my channel. And even if you hit the links for the research, you're supporting my channel because it pings the companies and lets them know that, you know, you have been watching the video and interested in the product. So it's a win-win over here. Now, let us get in. So the first one we're going to do, I was trying to decide which one to start first because there's so many. But let us start with this one. Now I have been josing for this for a very long time. It is a winter palette and let me tell you, I have been jonesing for it so much that I actually made my impressions of it. It is the Glittery Tiger palette. Uh, you can see a resemblance. So this is my gold Natasha Denona book gold palette that I have customized. And so this is my Glittery Tiger version of it that I wanted so much that I created a impressions of. So with that, I found out, I keep on doing research and I found out that it was on sale over the holidays. So listen, I decided I'm making a pilgrimage to Holt Renfrew. They had it on sale, they were only ones that had it on sale and this is a pretty penny. So when it goes on sale, I'm taking advantage of it, especially since I've been wanting it for months on end. So this is what I picked up, but there is a whole nother situation going on with this. So I picked up the Ombrigi the glittery tiger palette look at how gorgeous that is you see they uh, Guerlain goes all out with their packaging it's so beautiful and not only that I like the formulation and I love the fact that they are not afraid of color they're not as conservative you know uh, classic the artistic direction she plays around with colors and she has fun with them and they also like to use a baked formula too I can't remember whether this one has baked gelée in it but nonetheless it's a real Really lovely color story and I really really wanted it now the thing is I got it on sale and I go to Holt Renfrew and you know Guerlain has a really great system when you go online where they have a lot of like samples they have loyalty reward systems so you can build points and get extra you know gifts with purchases now Holt has their own thing like you can you get served by a wonderful sales associate you create a relationship with a human being when you go into a store you can also get wonderful samples and they'll put you on your list to call you when you know they have gift with purchases. Each one has its benefits. So I want to go in store because that's where the sale was. I had gone before work. I had set up everything, the timeline. I had checked online that they said that they had the stock. They're usually good with that. So I had committed giving myself half an hour to be able to get off the subway, run into the store because it's right by the subway and pick it up. Well, who told me that that wasn't going to go as planned? I go into the store. First of all, the counter manager wasn't there for Golan. So the beautiful sales associate working on the next counter what show, showed up to help me. So we're thinking, easy peasy, glittery tiger, pull out the drawers, can't find it in the doors, can't find it anywhere. So she calls up another sweet sales associate to go into the stock room to go and check it. And meanwhile, she's going to check online to confirm that we had it. Cause I said, I checked online and said, you guys had it. Turns out they had 10 in stock. Now, if they had one or two, you get a little nervous that they probably may not have it, but 10, definitely they have the stock. So she goes, yes, we definitely have the stock. I have 
this huge backpack on me. I decided, can I sit? They had wonderful seats, so they let me, she let me sit down. I sit down to get myself comfortable. The other sales associate comes back almost like 10 minutes. I look first at their hand, and she got nada. She got nothing in her hands, and I'm going, what is going on? She goes, I'm so sorry, I couldn't find it. I'm gonna check again. There's another storage area. I'm gonna check there. During that time, I'm asking for samples because I'm trying their exclusive line of their L'Art and Metier fragrances. Now, Guerlain is known for their fragrances and they love to play around with vanilla fragrances. They have their normal line, the Aqua Allegoria, their Le Petit Robe, their something something on Guerlain, but I like to go for the exclusive line and that is the L'Art and Metier collection and the beautiful bottles you can what do you call it again the caps you can take the different colors and they have this beautiful cording around it you can change the colors and everything you can get them inscribed so I was looking at their Angelique Noir which is a vanilla they do really good at vanilla fragrances Angelique Noir is another version of a, a vanilla fragrance for them and then you've got the the new one that came out tobacco honey so I asked for the Angelique Noir she put aside one whilst I'm waiting. This is Angelique Noir. And then she put aside the tobacco vanilla for me whilst I was waiting for the second round of checking for the Glittery Tiger. And they put it in this lovely little case. This is the same little beautiful little dust carrying case that they do when they do it online too. I got the tobacco honey. The second round when they were searching for it, took even longer. My beautiful sales associate that was helping me was getting nervous. So she ended up pulling three more of the Angelique Noirs for me because she felt so badly that I had to wait this long. And then on top of that, she felt so badly that she gave me not one, but two flow spring alkaline spring waters to keep me moistened up so that I wasn't getting dry while so I was waiting for my glittery tiger. I got a lot of steam. She hooked me up. She set me up. She hit me up. Finally, the sales associate comes back. I'm seeing her hands filled with tings. Well, it was the supply of glittery tigers. And what had happened was when she went back to the other location, guess who shows up? but their stock manager. Hallelujah! She came on board to show her where this dang glittery tiger went missing. So, thank goodness, the end of the story, I got my glittery tiger. Then there was this whole thing about I was gonna pay with my card or something, and they were concerned that it was a Visa card. They don't accept credit cards on this system. It had to be a debit, and I'm going, it's a debit. Don't worry, it's a Visa debit. They're all like, shoot, because we didn't want to now deter you once again. First, we had so much trouble finding your thing, and then now you can't even pay for it. We had a good laugh. So this was my adventure for this, but she hit me me up with a whole bunch of samples and some flow alkaline water and this is delicious water so I'm super happy because it came out in the end next I picked up this is my glow recipe I am so into essences you guys that I have to have an essence for everything these are some of my essences I have the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Toner, Listen Tree Yam Root Toner, Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience, and this is not all of the toners I have. These are only some of them. So with that, Glow Recipe came out with their toner essence and I was intrigued. And this is the Glow Recipe Cloudberry Bright Essence Tone and it helps to even skin tone and brighten the skin. The cloudberries are super high in vitamin C so you're gonna get a beautiful hit of vitamin C and there's other great ingredients in here and so I really wanted to try it out. They are based on fruits so each of their products it leans into a certain fruit. So they've got the Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Brightening Treatment Serum 
They've got the uh, the watermelon one, PHA, BHA or something like that. They've got pomegranate. Oh my goodness, they got everything. So this one is the Clive Berry Fruit and so it helps to even skin tone because it's high in vitamin C and vitamin C tightens, it brightens and lightens. And there's some other amazing other products in here that support this whole thing. And so I really wanted to try it out and see what it was like. And you know, you can't resist this cute little bottle. They always create all their products in very cute packaging and it's very easy distribution of the packaging. So they think of everything, they're highly detailed. So I wanted to pick this up and I'm so happy I did. And I'm gonna do a video on the review of this, okay? Then I picked up the Odin's Eye, their Christmas palette. I have last year's and they actually brought out last year's Christmas palettes because it got sold out twice and everybody loved them so, so much. And this is what my eyeshadow is based on, the new one. They came out with two and so this is the Odin's Eye box it is so cute they have such cute packaging and then you get a cute little card and when you ordered you got this beautiful scarf look at this and I picked up the hay reindeer because I I wanted I found it very colorful and original. Some people found that the colors are just kind of all over the place and they don't know how to create a look from it, but I really thought it was so beautiful and it really is. Look at this, you guys. Super beautiful. There's a lot of duochromes, even multi-chromes. What I have on my eye is literally glittery duochromes. I created this eye look with this and I really love the color story because it's not only winter, this is, you know, okay, it's a Christmas palette, hey reindeer, but this can take you into the summer. This is a very summery look, spring summery look. You can go more wintry with the with the grayish blues, the grayish and the blues here. You can pull in spring and summer with the pinks and the oranges and you've got this amazing Amazing yellow duochrome. This is another amazing duochrome. Both are on my eyes and this and this are on my eyes. So how I got this look is I put this in the crease, the orange in the inside of the crease. The dusty pink on the outer side of the crease. And then I use my Path McGrath Intensive Eyes Artistry Wand. I use my fingers because you don't need a lot to get it to glue on. And then I put in nail, oh, it's called eggnog. So this is like a yellow to, you'll see a swatch of it, yellow to something. It is amazing and it's glittery. Um, it does hard pan a bit, like it gets like smooths out when you, you use your finger. So it's harder to pick so what I did was I used a brush. I used my Refer 02 brush. It is a Psychohoto brush and it has it's kind of stiffer so you can put your brush in and kind of wiggle it to pick up the product. So it makes it a lot easier to pick up and that way you get a good amount of product and you can see from my video, it came on nice. Then I used Candy, I think this is called Candy Cane, another duochrome, multi-chrome, and I put it on the center mobile lit and then after I did that, I did go in because I found I didn't have a deeper pink in here, so I cheated. I went into my customized gold palette and I went into my impressions of Glittery Tiger and I used this one here, which is Daisy from Natasha Denona's Cranberry Palette. And I put that with my finger, because I find I can get a lot of impact with my finger, and I put it in the outer corner and up into the crease a bit on both sides. And that is how I got my look. So I'm really happy because I like bright colors. I love you, as you can see, I'm wearing a bright pullover. And this look can be perfect for spring and summer at the same time. So I love my reindeer palette because even though it is a Christmas palette, it can still be used 
for all year round. So I find this a very, very versatile, super fun. Lots of different finishes in here, lots of different colors. Also, there's a lot of glittery. I love the glittery uh, finishes and the duochromes and multichromes. A treasure trove that you can dip into. You can use it as a side palette, as a part of your jewelry and accessory, or you can use it to do a whole look with. I picked up from Oil Perfumery. Now, this company is a miracle company because it makes impressions of, and I'm gonna shout them from the rooftop because they make impressions of perfumes and fragrances. And they love to do impressions of ones that are also super expensive, like Tom Ford, Maison Francis Kirk John, uh, Chanel's Les Exclusive, Dior's Private Blend. Oh my goodness, they do the impressions of, and they are practically spot on. Most of them, about 90% of them, are spot off. So when you can't afford the real deal and you really are jonesing for it until you can, you know, purchase the real deal, this is a wonderful way to go. Now, I have still got my eye on the Tom Ford version, okay? Because they do have the travel spray, but this is the Impressions of Sole Neige. This thing is beautiful. Full. And the thing about it is that you can wear it every day. It's not encroaching. It has the most beautiful soft fragrance, but it still has impact, you know, but it's not overbearing. So you can work to work. You can wear it every day. You can be, it can be a signature fragrance. Of course, it's Tom Ford. It's going to be expensive, but thank goodness they do a travel spray. But it's $90 right now. It's not in my budget. So with that, I looked up on Oil Perfumery, found out that they have it, and listen, it's like $16 or something, and then when you use a discount code, and I will put the discount code below, because you can get 15% off. I think I bought it during the holiday season, they had a holiday discount. I think it was 20% at that time. But otherwise, I'm gonna put the 15% off discount code in the description box below for Oil Perfumery. The nice thing about it, it's called Oil Perfumery, they're made of oil. It's oil-based so that it lasts a long time. That's the other thing is that the impact on these can actually be longer than the actual original. And this is spot on. Oh my God, I still want the original though. Still have my eyes on the travel and I'll probably get it through paying installments. It works, it works. And then you're not killing your budget at one go. So I got this one, the Soleil Neige, and it's amazing. Now, if you ever go to the exclusive line for Chanel, the impressions of Chanel or Perfumery, they can't use the real name. When you look at the names for the Chanel ones, they're, using, they're saying Coco instead of Chanel. Chanel, and then the names of the actual perfumes sound similar to what you're expecting or in that same thing, but they're different. So, but when you go into the actual fragrance, the description, they'll say it is an impression of, and they'll say the actual name of the fragrance so that you can make sure that that's the fragrance that you wanted impressions of. That is in particular for Chanel box. It is an impression of say Coromandel. That's the one that I want. So, eventually I'm going to get an impressions of Cormandel, but they call it Comantry or something like that by Coco. So this little baggie here is by... Byredo! So I picked up the Byredo palette. And this one is called Siren and it's so cute. Let's see. I'm going to show you this. And then you slide it out. And this is what it looks like. And then you open it up. And isn't this beautiful? This is the Siren. I always wanted it. It's the, the most colorful of the Byredo 5 Quint palettes. I have the bigger Byredo palette and I love it so much, the Remembrance palette. It looks like a beautiful petal. It's so beautiful to me. I decided to treat myself over Christmas and pick this palette up. This is what it looks like. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. This 
this palette. So it's colorful and bright. You can make so many different looks from this palette. Now the only thing is when I swatch it in store, it was very rich. I was swatching and go, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is such a beautiful, taupey platinum then you got the beautiful fuchsia pink and then you got this amazing yellow but i'm going to tell you about this yellow this uh, chartreuse it is a bomb when you can pick it up and get it to to swatch and then you got this beautiful glowy holographic shimmer of a pink and then you got this beautiful blue but it swatched so amazing in store it was so rich it was so impactful but this this one it's been known to have problems right you literally have to dig your finger in it so I had to stick my nail and get the swatch so I bought it and I did a whole Instagram video on it but I noticed when I was doing it it wasn't swatching as well it wasn't as rich I'm going what's going on so I went back into the store to investigate and I got another sample of their Byredo fragrances too because Byredo is known for their fragrances and of course I love my fragrances. what had happened was I spoke to the sales associate to find out why it was richer in store than when I swatched it for Instagram so we were trying to figure this out turns out he figured it out for me when it's up on the stand the display It's over the display of the fragrances that are right underneath the shelf underneath the shelf underneath is lit It keeps the stand that this is on warm with it being warm it is softer and richer So he said basically warm it up with maybe a flat iron or something and then it will be a little softer and richer. Shouldn't have to do that, but I'm glad we figured it out. Really and truly, this one is so beautiful when swatched, but you when you dig your nail in and, and get the actual color out, it is amazing. But I am so surprised that after knowing people's complaints about this one that they haven't reformulated improved it on their next batches surely they did next batches where they could have done that so it's a missed opportunity so i wish byrator would hear this and fix this that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying and of course the beautiful wonderful sales associate also gave me samples of their single so i'm looking forward to playing around with these these are gonna be fun, so I really appreciate that. Yeah. He hooked me up with beautiful fragrances. So I got samples of Mumbai Noise, a Rose of No Man's Land. What was the one that I really wanted? Oh, Gypsy Water. So he hooked me up with Gypsy Water too, Bald Afrique. I think I forgot La Tulip. I love this one. This is beautiful, soft summer fragrance. So I picked up these and I'm going to show you the other one. What had happened was is that I got the oil perfumery sample pack and in it was Gypsy Water. And Gypsy Water smells like Shiseido's Inuit. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. So I asked for a sample of the actual real one. <laughs> <laughs> this one actually doesn't smell as much like the Shiseido Gypsy Water as the oil perfumeries version of this. That's one of the very rare ones of the oil perfumeries that didn't actually copy perfectly the actual fragrance. That's not very common for oil perfumery. Usually they are spot on. The actual real one doesn't quite smell Shiseido in your wee, but oil perfumeries does. So I have both iterations, which I love. So there you go. It's, it's a win-win. And then because I was in Holtz, I did get a sample of Tom Ford Cherry Smoke. I got, I got hit up and I am very, very happy I did. We are going in. We are going to unbox let's see what this one is because we got a whole bunch more of this coming down okay so let's do it so voila so here we go what do we have pat mcgrath over the holidays listen pat mcgrath was having a bonanza sale going on and everything all through the whole website was 30% off. Not only that, most of her products, especially ones that I was picking up or had my eye on, actually were already reduced. So they were at a reduced price and then she was putting a 30% off. Well, listen, at that point, the, she was giving it, practically giving it away for free, okay? And then I found out another thing that was very interesting because I am in Canada. 
So here we go. We got the Bijou Brilliant. And this only cost me 20 Canadian dollars. So you can imagine what the price is for the US if this was only 20 Canadian dollars with 30% off and the price reduced. So everything is sold out now. All the Bijou Brilliance quints are totally sold out. I picked up the Bordeaux Bliss. Now you're gonna see it before me. Oh, that is so beautiful. It is like a soft pinky purple plum. It's a soft plummy pinky purple. And on top of that, we got another box of Pat McGrath. Okay, so look, 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 look. Oops. Here's more. So we're gonna just dig into this. Other thing about it is that I, I found out by pure accident. So I, this is the Sunset Romance. This is the other quint I got. I really wanted the blue one, the lunar something, but that already got sold out. Everybody had cottoned onto this faster than I had cottoned onto it. So that one went first, which is understandable because it was it's the most original a color story. If you follow me a while, you know that I do like cool tone palettes more than warm tone palettes. So that was like the one I wanted and it was already sold out. Now the other thing I found out is that usually you like you have to pay taxes and stuff like that, but Pat McGrath's website is so amazing, international friendly. Everything is free shipping to Canada and then the extra taxes are already built in. So like when you pay the tax there on the website, there is no surprise duties or anything when ships. Everything's so amazing to streamline. Not only that, she does have a st distribution center, I believe, in Mississauga. So actually, I think a lot of times the products are coming from that distribution center. So it's already set up. But what I found out was I had put in one of the quints for $20 into the basket and tried to check out to see what would happen. And it turns out there was no taxes being put on it, no duties taxes. So I was only paying the $20. So I'm going, listen, I had this, I had this, I had the other quid. I bought them separately so I didn't have to pay the taxes. Hey, I'm balling on a budget, I'm going to save my money. So I had like a number of different boxes. This was one of the bigger boxes, but I was getting boxes upon boxes. It makes for a nice Christmas gift, I must say, over the holidays because I had like at least four or five boxes of Pat McGrath. But um, it saved me all the taxes. So I was happy about that. I have no qualms about that. I picked up also the Chromalux. I picked up Lilac Liaison and Midnight Temptress. This is the Midnight Temptress. And you have the top on. You gotta keep this on to keep it fresh. Very, very important. Um, and then we got the lilac one. I did really want, I saw a look on her Instagram of the lilac with mixed with the, it's like a sunny yellow, a very soft yellow gold. This is the lilac liaison. And I saw this look with the yellow. It looks so beautiful. I can do the look without it, but I, I really, you know, when you see a look and then you just want the actual products. But I can do it with my Sublime palette. There's a yellow in there that's very much the same. And in fact, that has a Bay Gillette, Gillette formula. I think I almost like that a little bit better. I was hoping these would be a little bit more like her baked, uh, special shades that are glittery and blah blah blah. They're not as glittery. Um, they're a bit smoother, metallic. They do have a little bit of a shimmer to it, but they're not as glittery. Sometimes you don't want it as that glittery because it's just a little too much. But I did think I wanted some of them to have a little bit more of a twinkle, so it was a little bit disappointing. I would have liked them to do like the ColourPop Super Shock shadows and set on the eyes. Uh, Laura Mercier is also the her Caviar Six set on the eyes, and I would have liked like these to do the same and they don't. I was a bit, I'm a bit disappointed with that because I think it makes it way more user friendly for oily lids and for hooded lids if they set. And it makes it a little bit more special. And then I picked up the Starstruck Splendor Palette. Now listen, I went into the store and swatched it at Sephora and for some reason I wasn't that impressed. I don't know why. Maybe it's because so many fingers were in there that actually they, it had dulled down or something. Something, but my god 
look at this. And the thing is, this whole Bijou Brilliance is based on jewelry, right? But it reminds me so much, and other people have said the same thing. The first thing I thought of was the Bridgerton, but I, I love this aesthetic. I love it. So I am not mad at this at all. This is a paper palette, and it is very firm and well designed, it has a heft to it. But the thing is, when it first came out, it was $105 Canadian, and I am sorry, I am not paying a hundred. I don't care if there's a mirror in it. I don't care if there's nine pan and you get two blushes in it. I am not paying a hundred and five dollars for this. No sir, no damn mother pal. Not paying a hundred and five dollars for it. So I said I won't wait it out if I even buy it. And when I swatched the store, I, thought I was gonna buy it. But when I saw it on sale and it was like forty dollars or something like that, don't quote me, but it was around that price. I'm going listen. I'm going to give it another try. I'm going to give it another try. And I'm so glad I did because let me tell you, these shimmer metallics, chef's kiss. These are like practically like her baked gelée special shades, okay? Just in a soft form, just in a soft form. Amazing. And then I would have liked one or two of these shades to be a little bit brighter in the mattes. It's made in Italy, and then this is a beautiful duochrome blue to pink or something. It looks pink in the palette, but it actually has a duochrome bluey thing absolutely beautiful and then you've got the two blushes here I'm actually very very happy that I picked this up and for the price this quality is better than what I paid for in the price okay but not at 105 absolutely not but at the price I paid for it I am a happy camper. Yes. I did pick up one of the Divinal Bombs because I love the lipsticks now that are not like true lipsticks they're more like a bomb gloss so this is a bomb gloss. It's more lightweight. So like your look is a little bit lighter. If you got your eye makeup out and blush, you got a kind of more lighter weighted lipstick on. Make it a little bit more cash. I got this in Electric Lotus. Pat McGrath's packaging is just so beautiful. It's also fun. It's iconic. It's, you know, original. I just really enjoy the aesthetic. So, and then of course, the component. Come on now, seriously. This is amazing. I just love her components. These are so beautiful. And of course, I look big. So this is a beautiful color, and I'm so happy I got it. See if I can swatch it for you. There we go. So that's what it looks like. Almost a pinky coral, a soft pinky coral. Beautiful color, so it can go either way for the oranges and the pinks, perfection. And I picked up Intensifies Artist Rewind, and of course, separate orders. I should have asked them first because I have an, another Artist Rewind. I seem to have no luck with the Artist Rewinds. They work perfectly, but they, each one broke on me for some reason. So the second one I bought was working fine, and then it broke. The whole shaft came out broken pieces and then I put it back in when I put it back in it should have worked but I could no longer pump it out so I ordered another one and of course I ordered it singly so I didn't have to get the taxes but the thing was I realized oh my goodness why did you do that let me get in touch with them and tell them about it so that they can refund me the cost and it be free because it would be considered a replacement so I did that over the holidays but they gave me a standard reply back saying oh we can't guarantee when your package will go out, but it will go out. So they hadn't even read my email. So I was so disappointed. And I thought, what do I do now? So I DM'd them. I never heard back. And then suddenly, maybe a couple of days later, I was kind of disappointed. Next thing you know, I get this ping from Shop Pay. I have this app called Shop Something. And I get this ping and it says, oh, an Intensifies Artistry Ron just got shipped out <laughs> to me. And I'm going, what? This is another one. I checked online and it said zero cost. They had read it and they had sent me another one for free. So I'm getting another one in the mail and it's for free as a replacement for that one. And then when I looked at my email, I finally got an email from somebody and said, so, so sorry. We realized it broke and blah, blah, blah. So we sent you another one for free. So they did read my thing. I think maybe they were all on holidays. And so this was their kind of standard email until they could reply to the actual email. So I'm so happy because this really works and you do not need a lot. But I'm treating this like gold. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. 
Charlotte, I have a couple more. Charlotte Tilbury. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury box. From her website, I picked up the Beautyverse palette. I swatched it in store and I realized, you know what? I really need the Beautyverse palette. And the thing is, it's very similar to Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmos palette, but I love the packaging number one. Look at this. This is a glitter shimmer paradise very 1920s art nouveau with a kick beautiful charlotte darling and then you get the eyeshadow palette what i love about it she created a powder formula it's almost like a cream to powder formula and then it has the soft ballet pink in here which i really was missing in the cosmos palette it was too many browns and i wanted something that was going to brighten it but you can still ground it with the browns with these beautiful glitter shimmers and then you've got the pink so i, I really wanted that i i'm a stickler for things like that i didn't really want to have to go out out of the palette to do so sometimes I just want to keep to the palette and keep you know it's just a beautiful component and it's compact and it's delightful I picked this up from the Sephora and this is her the blush and glow glide palette I don't know why they call it the glide palette but it I think it kind of goes with this now the hilarious thing is you think this palette is going to be this size, all right? You think it's going to be this size. Well, <laughs> I'm going to beg to differ. Because they have it as like an insert here. So um, it's embedded into the palette. So <laughs> this is what it actually looks like, okay? It is not that big, but it is very travel worthy. Um, and you have your, of course, your blush and you have your glow. These are beautiful color story. It works perfectly with the Beautyverse palette. I'm going to really enjoy this whole thing. And I don't have to think about, oh, what blush does go with it? I've got to like go through my drawer. Boom, I got it right here. And then I can just bring it with me on my travels because I'm a glittery girly. And I've got my intensifies artistry wand to keep it in place so I don't turn into a little glitter fairy. I'm okay with being a glitter fairy. I, I can rock it. But sometimes I don't always want all the glitter over my face. And the artistry wand helps with that. So. With that, because I made some purchases on Sephora, which were this, so I got the I got the Fenty Cherry Dub Super Fine Daily Cleansing Face Scrub Wash. I would not recommend doing this every day. Maybe every third day. You can do this about twice to three times a week. It's kind of cute. Cherry Dub. Oh, and then I got like these from the. That's the nice thing about Sephora, and I think department stores, if they want to get into the runnings with Sephora really need to do similar things. Online shopping, provide the off-beauty offers, provide it like the brands do, provide it like Sephora does, and offer beauty samples and points, rewards, and offers because this is where department stores are failing and flailing at and they really need to get on board and get with the program. So I got these with my Sephora order the Anastasia Magic Touch Concealer. I got the Clean Reserve. This is their perfume. And I got the Pharmacy Honey Glow Ultra Hydrated Ceramide Moisturizer. The Innisfree Dew Glow Jelly Cream. The Biosant Squalene Omega Repair Cream. Department stores really have to get on the bandwagon with this if they want to compete in this market and if they want to capture their customers and keep their customers. That's all I'm saying. I think this is the last thing, but it's a goodie. Goodie patootie. So I got for a little Christmas gift from one of my family members. It's in a Lululemon bag, but it isn't Lululemon. It is Clarins. I got um, a whole bunch of Clarins products. And the thing is, I've never heard this 
product before. This is the Clarins Milky Boost Capsules, and it is a foundation. They're in capsule format, really easy to apply, and the thing is, it's one of those adapters. It adapts to your skin, so they only have six versions of different colors. I've got the number five, then the darkest is number six, so I th really think they need to add on more for a more deeper skin tone. So you get 30 capsules, never heard of this before. I tried it, it's amazing, it looks so good. I really liked it, it came out really, really nice. So I'm quite impressed by this. And one capsule will do your whole face. However, there's only 30 in here, so you get only 30 days, okay? So that's the only thing, but it's very travel convenient. And so the other things that I got, oh my goodness, everybody wants this. Oh, I got the lip oils, and I got a whole five of them. I got three, four, five, eight, and ten of the lip oils. What do they call it? Lip comfort oils. Three is cherry, four is patea, five apricot, eight strawberry, and ten plum. These are the ones that I got. No, I'm not wearing it right now, but this is the one that I'm using right now is the patea. When I don't want a kind of a lip balm and I, I need something that my lips are dry, I don't have anything on my lips, this is beautiful to put on because it has a very light color. Lip Comfort Oil is like an oil balm gloss. I was concerned that it would be like really oily and runny because I've never used a lip balm oil before. No, it grips like a balm, but is more oily textured. It's beautiful. Now I had a feeling that my neighbor was going to somehow vacuum during this thing. So what I also like to do is the Glossier Cloud Paint Blushes. I did a monochromatic look really quick for the weekend and I put this on my cheeks and on my lips and then you top it off with this and it's like having the most lovely luxuriant um, lightweight look on the on your lips because it's kind of a lip stain so you do get a little bit more color to your lips and then top it up with one of the the lip comfort oils perfection I got their moisturizer super restorative day cream and then the super restorative night cream both of them have ascorbyl glucoside vitamin C they also have some peptides in there Clarence does a lot of beautiful plant based skin care and so they've got some really amazing plant-based ingredients it's for a specific purpose and active. I didn't research it because it's a lot to research right now and this is just a haul. I got some more uh, sample body shaping cream. Useful lift neck and decollete care. Oh, and this is the multi-intensive super restorative smoothing treatment essence. Hey, I got another essence. I love my essences. I think we got it all. I hope you enjoyed my mega luxury haul and the adventures and misadventures in getting this haul. The flow water. Hey, we got a flow. When we are dealing with things, we got a flow with it. Don't resist. Flow. That's what I say now. Who knows what's going to happen later. Did you take advantage of Dame Mother Pat's 30% off sale? Keep your eye out because she is always having sales, okay? They will eventually have another 30% off sale on her website. So it's always good to just keep your eye out on her website if you're going to get Pat McGrath. Let me know what you picked up or what you treated yourself with. This Christmas, I did treat myself because for the past couple of Christmases, they were not the best. This time around, I spent time with family, so that was amazing. I didn't have COVID this year, as I did last year. So that was really, really amazing. I so enjoyed that. And then on top of that, I decided I was gonna treat myself and put myself as priority so that I wouldn't get demoralized again. I just couldn't do a third, fourth year and be demoralized. It would have been too much. It would have been tip of the iceberg. So I treated myself and I went to two beautiful cafes. You will see that on my Instagram, one of them that I went to. That was really, really special to me. I'm gonna hopefully go there again. Uh, really, really soon. So I did things like that to celebrate and I did treat myself with some products. Now this is a collective haul. Not all of it was done all at the same time. Who's gonna do it if I'm not gonna do it? I don't have a husband, I don't have a partner. And I thought this year I need to do something to make things seem special over the holidays and so I did. 
I treated myself. All right. Let me know whether you what little kind of sweet gifts that you got, like from maybe your friends or family, or from even yourself to treat yourself. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. It was peaceful and happy, and that you're going into New Year with a great attitude. I'm trying to do the same thing. Have a beautiful, blessed New Year's, and I am going to do the same. If you like this, do give me a thumbs up, like it, and share it. And remember that I do have the links in the description box for your convenience. If you shop through those links, thank you so much because you really support my channel when you do that. And with that, remember, hold on a second because I can't go out with a little this is like the water from the from my cold. I did get a cold over my vacation holiday. What can I say? Every single time I have a vacation, I'm sick. But anyway, I started out healthy and I danced through my kitchen. Super happy that I started out healthy. So with that, and I'm still healthy, even if I do get watery eyes and I have to blow my nose to the point of fainting, almost fainting. I just nearly had a fainting smell just before this because I blew, blew my nose for nearly five minutes. So, but anyway, with that, don't forget, rock your own kind of beauty and keep on going and keep on on glowing in this blessed New Year, cause I certainly will. Bye.